Raise your hand if you've ever shot a squirt gun. When you were a kid and you got a squirt gun, did you go to dad and say, this thing sucks, I need a, a aim point mounted on this bitch? Did you order some Ameriglow or Trigicon sight? Did you send it to Ben and have him tweak it? Anybody? And I guarantee you successfully <laughs> squirted the shit out of people, didn't you? Never once using sights, never once, and you're like, it's not the same, why isn't it? Did you ever take a rubber band and shoot it across a room and hit somebody right in the penis or face with it? Did you have a sighting system for the rubber band? How many of you have ever picked a football, a frisbee, a baseball, a rock, an acorn, whatever, and thrown it to somebody successfully? We just kind of went from one extreme to the other. Use your sights, use your sights, use your sights. Do you really need your sights? It goes both ways. Had one low there, right? The more exposed you are to a perfect sight picture, the less you need to see the sight picture. Your subconscious knows what it's doing. In order to get there though, you gotta see the correct sight picture, get a good result, tell yourself that's what it feels like or looks like. You guys got eyes and ears on? Do I have a sight picture? Do I have a sight picture? No? Were those hits on all of those? No, every single one. There's two hits, there's all hits, there's one hit. Every round I fired hit the paper. Look. So we don't need that much of a sight picture at certain distances. If we can see the sight, see the sights. But we don't, that's just like shirt, shooting a squirt gun. We don't need to have a huge refined sight picture. It's just like shooting a squirt gun. You you can drive that gun towards the target. The same thing's happening. I'm breaking the gun back down. I'm not suggesting we point shoot, but it's this, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just looking at what I'm shooting at and the gun's gonna be pointed at it because I've done it that way so many times. So look at my body posture. And as I bring this gun down, there's really not a lot happening, is there? So the upper piece of paper, you're just looking at what you want to shoot, just like a squirt gun. So that's like the far end of the spectrum. And then we go the other way where we've got a perfect sight picture and we're working it and we're working it. So it, what you need is always somewhere in between. So let's work now with a little bit of movement. Thank you, Sproles. So I'll go from the holster and we'll say, we'll say square up on your target, right? We'll say square up and then Z will tell you take a step to the left or a step to the right. And the reason I'm gonna start to the left is when I now move to the right, I can move like three or four steps. Make sense? We'll say draw, move, and shoot. So I'm not drawing, moving, and then shooting. I didn't gain anything, right? I'm trying to link all those movements together. So now as I draw, the gun gets pressed up and I can fire as I move. I can build the sight picture as I move, yes? The difference in this kind of movement is really we're up think of a pie, the target's the center of the pie, and I'm just going around the crust, right? So the sights are not really moving that much, unless I'm covering a bunch of ground, which we'll do next. So it's really, I'm just moving around a pie a little bit, right? Point at me, just point at me. Can you keep your finger pointed at me? Is that hard? Could you shoot me right now? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty easy. The performance point is that as your feet move, you go to the gun, you drive it up, you start to build a sight picture, whatever that looks like, because they're gonna have different targets today. Whatever the sight picture is to hit it in whatever the rounds we tell you, two or four. If it looks like bang, bang, that's better than standing there flat-footed. Movement's better than nothing.
Super Dave Harrington always likes to say, just like this, you're either firing and maneuvering or being maneuvered upon. I think that's true. What's a boxer do? Do they just go like this? On target? Yep. Hey, if you train with a firearm, if you carry a firearm, if you teach people firearms, the barrel block, you should get one. We keep a whole bucket of them in our range trailer. Quite simply what it is, it blocks the barrel, just as the name states. And at the end is a cartridge molded into the plastic. In this case, it's a nine millimeter. They come in different calibers. You just install it right into the barrel, plugs the barrel up, makes it completely inert. It's orange so everybody can see it. Of course, when using it, you're still ingraining good habits of muzzle discipline and trigger finger control. And then it comes with a, a magazine follower block, which allows the student to practice things like manipulating the slide, manipulating the magazine without the follower locking the slide to the rear. Super simple, super easy to use, made in the USA. You saw how easy I put it in. That's how easy it comes out. And they come for rifles as well. Check them out, barrel block.